Yeah, walk and talk video. Okay, autumn is upon us. Yeah. There's something about this time of year that does it for me. I enjoy coming out here, being outside, seeing the colours of the trees, and it has a certain smell to it this time of year. I remember some lad once saying to me that autumn was his least favourite season because it was the death of nature, which I found to be a bit silly. Autumn isn't the death of nature. It's a season, it's a part of nature, it's not nature's death. Anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple of things here. Thinking to myself the other day, I've been single for quite a long time now. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm contented being single. I don't feel like I need to be in an intimate relationship to make myself feel complete, as some say they do. I've come across people before who've told me that they can't stand being single. The way some folks have described it to me, it's as if they see single as being one of the worst things in the world. There are people who feel they don't have the strength, emotional, mental strength, I suppose, to go it alone, so to speak. For me personally, I do enjoy the intimate company of a woman. However, it doesn't pain me to be single. I don't have to be joined at the hip with another person. I'm more than capable of amusing myself, taking care of myself. I don't feel lost when I'm alone. I'm comfortable in my own company, doing my own thing. Yeah, whatever that thing may be. And I'm not the only one who is happy being single. I'm not. So, there it is. Uh, right, what else did I want to talk about? wanted to say something else here. Yeah, family. Family. I've got two brothers. One older, one couple of years younger than me. Um, I'm not close with either of them. I don't phone either of them at all really, not these days. Uh, they both live in different parts of the UK to me. We're family, but I'm not close or buddy-buddy with either one of these guys, either one of these blokes. I don't know their jobs or where they work. Not even sure of their specific addresses, actually, thinking about it. I've met both of their long-term girlfriends. They seem like lovely ladies. But I don't know much about either of these ladies, to be honest. Don't know my brother's friends or who they hang out with and the truth is I'm fine with all of this I really am we've just grown apart as people over the years and this isn't something which makes me sad 
I'll see these two at Christmas and we'll all sit round the table and eat our little Christmas dinners and small talk shall be made I imagine and maybe we'll have a laugh or two then we'll go our separate ways but yeah family growing apart it happens it's a part of life but having said that I still care about these guys, of course. Family is important. And if either of my brothers needed me in a crisis, I'd do my best do my best to be there for them. Anyway, hope you're having a good one wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Peace.